Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is playoff race number four, the second last race of the season in total. Here in season one of the NASCAR B Cup Series, green flag is out. We're at Dover Speedway. Johnny in the number 88 is in the lead. Ken in the number 42 is in second, right behind him. Oh, and connection problems for Johnny, as you can see. And Johnny gets going again. And that's Brian in the number three and third, and that's Tyler in the number 24 and fourth. And as you can see, that's Dustin in the number 14 and fifth. And more connection problems for Johnny. The connection problems are getting worse even for him, it looks like. Tyler had to kind of look like Tyler's car went inside of Johnny's car temporarily. We're getting word that Johnny knows of the connection issues, so he's dropping to the back for now. The new race leader is Ken in the 42. Wood Dog in second in the number three. Tyler third in the 24. Dustin fourth in the 14. Michael is in fifth in the 25. That's Ricky in the 51 car in 7th, and I couldn't quite tell who the car in 6th place was, but I believe it's Frank in the number 78 car. After today, there's only one race left before the end of the season, and that's Homestead. Brian in the number 3 is not a playoff driver, but the driver's running in 1st, 3rd, and 4th definitely are. And now you can see Frank is on the outside of Michael and that's a battle for fifth and if Frank can take over that spot then it'll be first, third, fourth, and fifth that are playoff drivers but as you can see there he had to tuck back in behind Michael and he's getting challenged now by Ricky. The 25 car and the 51 car are not playoff drivers as well as the number three. Dustin's closing in here on Tyler, and that's a battle for third and fourth. Coming into this race, Tyler in the 24 car has the points lead. Dustin and Johnny are tied for second in the standings, 11 points behind, with only two races to go. So it's still any, any driver's championship at this point. And not too far back in the standings is Ken in the number 42 car. Although his chances at winning the championship have been hindered because he missed the very first playoff race, which was at Texas Motor Speedway. Now it's a long race, so you can see that Dustin's kind of taking his time and he's not getting too close to the to the 24 car, either that or maybe the 24 has picked it up a little bit. And now you can see that Brian is losing track to the leader just a little bit. Ken still has the lead in the number 42 car, Brian in the number 3 in second. And uh, still inside the top 5 is Michael in that number 25 car, but he's got Ricky in the number 51 close to him. And we just saw Michael in the 25 car make some contact with the outside wall coming out of turn four that last time by. And Frank in the 78 is back now to the seventh position. 14 cars in the feature race tonight. We did hold a qualification race to see which non-playoff drivers will be joining the playoff drivers in the feature race. However, we had very terrible connection problems for this race and therefore two drivers were unable to start in the feature race tonight. Those two drivers are Billy and James. James being one of the playoff drivers driving the number 48 machine. However, he's going to be switching over to the number 4 car next season. And like I said, Billy and James unable to compete in today's race at Dover Speedway due to connection problems. Therefore, they will finish in 16th and 15th, respectively. Battle for third here, and we just got a look there at Twitch Whiskers. She's going to go a lap down, and ooh, problems there for Ricky in the number 51 car. 
one of those classic wall glitches, we call it. You got up into the outside wall coming into turn two and or coming into turn four rather and it just shot him right around into the inside wall. And therefore I believe we are gonna see a caution from this. Sometimes it takes the race directors to a, a bit of time to to realize that there has been an incident. The, the, the only ways cautions can come out here in the two B division leagues here in NASCAR competition is for a multi-car multi wreck, two, or, two cars or more, or a one-car wall glitch incident. And there's no cautions called no matter what for the first five laps after the start of the race or after a restart. A little bit of a bump there from Michael to the back bumper of Tyler. It's a battle for fourth and fifth. Destin's riding in third there in the 14 car. It's still Ken that's holding station up front. Very surprised that we didn't see a caution. I believe that it is up to the driver's uh, discretion. It's their decision if a if they want a caution to come out from their from their wall glitch incident. And I guess Ricky in the 51 is choosing not to have to have a have a caution come out. He's now back in the 12th position, still on the lead lap, but he lost a ton of ground there. I believe there is only one car off the lead lap at this point, and it is um, Caitlin in the number 98 car. She had a good run at Kansas, and she's very excited for Homestead. Homestead in Kansas and Auto Club tracks like that suit her driving very much because she likes to drive the outside line, much like Harry Gant or Kyle Larson. And when she goes to the tracks where the the outside line is primarily the fastest line, she she really excels. Ken is getting in a little bit of lap traffic now, though. He's having to fight his way through it. And if he's not able to get through it quick, quick enough, he's going to have Brian in the number three car on his back bumper. We should also let you guys know that Joe is in the seventh position. Titan in the number 35 car is in eighth. And that was Ryan in the number 19 machine there, just in front of Destin. Destin sitting in third, but Ryan in the number 19 machine has gone one lap down. So, therefore, I believe there are now two cars one lap down, the 98 and the 19. And there's a car on pit road as well, and I think it's... I believe it's Frank in the number 78 car on pit road, so that'll make it three cars one lap down, and you got to believe that we're getting close to schedule green flag pit stops, or that, or that Frank had some sort of an issue, and we just simply didn't catch it. Oh, and Twitch Whiskers, Caitlin, number 98, had a problem over in turn four. She was over on the outside lane up near the wall, and... Not sure if we're going to see a caution for this or not. Not sure if it was a single car incident or if she got help. But if she got help and the race director gets word of it, then there just might be a caution. And that's Joe in the number 15 car. I'm not sure what's happened to him because he was up inside the top 10 a moment ago and now he finds himself one lap down. And there's a caution on the speedway. 
Caution has come out for the number 98 car of Caitlin. There she is actually on the inside on the front straightaway of these guys. She will be told to uh, to go around and join the tail, I'm sure, as the caution was coming out. She was she was not this many laps down, and I'm not sure what happened to the 25 car of Michael there, but he went flying to the inside, and he's going to gather it back up and keep going, I'm sure. And Brian, at some point here, has taken the race lead from Ken. Number three car has the lead. Ken is in second. And I think it's going to be Joe, first car one lap down, and the number 15, who's going to get the lucky dog, the wave around. Dustin, the number 14, is in third. Tyler in fourth. Michael in fifth. And I think they're still trying to work out the rest of the order from there on out, but I think it's Titan in the number 35 and sixth. Frank in seventh in the number 78. And despite spinning out earlier, I think that Ricky has climbed all the way back up to 8th place in that number 51 machine. We're waiting on the other cars that were quite a ways behind the race leader to go on around and catch up. There you see Caitlin gets the lap back because of when the caution was called. The field was frozen, so she goes back around and joins the tail. And Joe in the number 15 has already went around to get his lap back. And I'm not sure when pit road will be open, but when it opens, lead lap cars will pit the first time around, the caution cars will pit the second time around. And then we will resume action here at Dover Speedway. Playoff race number four here in season one of the NASCAR B Cup Series. Hosted on the NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. There are two B divisions in the NASCAR series. Hosted on the NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. One with custom setups, one with no setups. However, you can make adjustments on pit road, of course, in those no custom setups races. Pit road is still closed, but we're getting word that it's going to be open this next time by as... Ryan in the number 19 car is going around to get a lap back. The rules for getting a lap back are a little bit different in NASCAR than they are in real life races in the NASCAR series. I believe Pit Road is going to be open this time. Don't quote me on it. No, Pit Road is still closed, so they're going to go one more time around here. We're going to speed it up just to make sure that our recording device does not uh, have battery issues before the end of the race because this is a bit of a long event here, folks, at Dover Speedway. And now you can see that Pit Road is open and everyone is coming down Pit Road except for the 78 car of Frank, and I think that he is going to take the wave around to get his lap back. And now as you can see everybody is coming down pit road. All the cars that took a wave around or a free pass will start at the tail of the field regardless, but all the cars are making pit stops at the same time just to avoid confusion and to save time and not have a lengthy caution. And there they are on pit road. Who's going to get out first? The 24 is planted in front of the 3, but they both pulled into the stall very nicely. There you see behind on the 78 is rolling. And he'll start at the tail of the field for the restart. And here they all go. It was the 14 that got out of the stall first, technically. The 3 car is going to get out with the lead. It looks like the 24 got second. The 14 got third. The 42 got fourth. 35 fifth. 51 sixth. 25 seventh. Those are your top seven. Brian, Tyler, Dustin, Ken, Titan, Ricky, and Michael. And then the others behind them, you've got Joe, Frank, Ryan, and Caitlin. We're going to line up double file here, and I do believe that they are going back green this time by. It's Brian with the race lead in the number three car, Tyler in 24. On the outside, Dustin in the 14, Ken in the 42, Titan 35, Ricky 51. Green flags in the air, Dover Speedway. It's a 
200 lap race at Dover. We're not even at the uh, the halfway mark quite yet. Oh, and problems deep in the field. Look like the 25 and and perhaps the 35. So Joe and Titan got into each other and spun towards the inside and hit the wall. But remember, guys, there are no cautions called five laps after a restart. So they're going to have to gather it back up and hope for the best, unfortunately. And we do always encourage that nobody drives reckless or, or impatient during those five laps. And having no cautions for that first five laps does not mean everyone gets to wreck each other. Penalties and punishments have been handed out in the past, and they still will in the future. But I think it was very clear that Titan and um, Titan and Michael it was definitely one of those on-track racing incidents. That's for sure. Now, as you can see, Ken is giving the pressure now to Brian for the race lead, and Dustin's giving pressure to Tyler for third place there, 24 and 14 car. And Ricky has rebounded from his wall glitch incident earlier all the way back up into the fifth position now in that number 51 car. <coughs> and we just saw Tyler in the number 24 brush the wall. That allowed Dustin to get real close on him here. He's got a run on the inside exiting turn four. Looked like Ricky in the 51 made contact with the outside wall as well. And Joe... After getting his lap back, has passed some of these other cars, and he's all the way up into the sixth position. And now problems for Dustin and for, for Tyler. Dustin got into the outside wall, spun to the inside, made contact with Tyler. Both cars hit the wall. And caution is out here at Dover. We passed the five-lap mark. I believe we were at the seven-lap mark after that most recent restart. And problems there for the 14 car getting into the, getting into the wall and then down the track and into the side of the 24. Both cars are going to have minor damage, but I think both will be all right. You can see the left front area of the 24 car not looking so good. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. And that's what that's what Tyler can see for the most part. That little triangle. <laughs> and that's not good. That means he's got a ding in the left front. So the caution is out here at Dover Speedway. Again, we're going to speed things up so that way you guys can catch the pit stops. Great job by Ricky to avoid all of that. He gained a spot because of it. And Ken decides to stay out. Brian's going to be the first one on pit road and everyone's going to follow him. Brian in the number 3, Ricky in the number 51, Tyler 24, Joe 15, Destin 14, Michael in the 25, Titan in the 35, Frank in the 78, they're all coming to pit road. And Twitch is one lap down I believe still, so she is going to be waiting until the next time by. Or actually, I believe she's actually having connection problems, and although you see her car on the outside of Pit Road in the, in the frame there on the screen, she's actually in her pit stall getting service right now. She's a great driver. The only thing that hinders her abilities to, uh, to, to win the race is simply her connection. And it looks like Titan used some uh, pit strategy. Took two tires only. That number 35 Ford to get some track position. Tyler's going to get out off pit road second. Ricky third. But remember, Ken did not pit. So they will all be lining up behind the number 42 machine. going this time guys they will be restarting the next time by they want to make sure everybody is in line and in the proper order and and close enough in a pack and ready to go oh and a bit of a problem coming to the restart there as you guys can see 25 and the 78 got into each other a little bit but the green flag is now out Ken got an amazing start 
tighten and those with those two left sides not working so well he took two tires on that pit stop he didn't really get the restart he was looking for so the bottom groove the bottom line shot out of a cannon off the restart and as you can see the the number three car Brian already has second and he's going after Ken for the race lead already we got a three car battle for the lead and Ricky in the number 51 is not far away Titan has settled in into fifth but he's got Joe right behind him in that number 15 car Frank in the 78 car is in seventh see the sparks flying guys some of these cars are bottoming out and I think one of them that's bottoming out the most is Ken in the number 42 car but I believe that that uh, Brian in the number three is, is bottoming out here and there as well they got him set up low to the ground and fast guys And that's the view that Tyler's got from the 24 car sitting in third. That's the battle for the race lead right in front of him. Brian in the number three takes the race lead, looking really strong here in the early going at Dover Speedway. And we're getting a report that Johnny in the number 88 car With those connection problems is now out of the race in fact we should update you guys there are three cars now off the track with connect due to connection problems Johnny in the number 88 Aaron in the number five and Jordan in the number 31 are all off the track. Johnny and Aaron are off the track due to connection problems and Jordan is off the track due to a wreck. So there are 11 cars left on the track here at Dover Speedway and 10 of those 11 cars are on the lead lap excuse me, rather all 11 cars are on the lead lap. And there goes Ricky in the number 51 car. He's going to take third away from Tymac, from Tyler here. And then right behind Tyler now you got Titan in the number 35 car making a late run charge. Remember, he's only got those two tires, but he's making it work to a degree here, and he's got Joe in the number 15 car not pressuring him any longer. And there you can see the front-end damage to the 24 from the incident earlier with Dustin. Look, yeah, it looked like Dustin just got into the outside wall, and it, looked, it, it appears that he's got a loose setup because as soon as he did, he didn't really have too much in the way of control at that point, even with fresh tires because it was not long after they had all made pit stops under a previous caution. Oh, and there you see Caitlin. I'm not sure what, what's happening with Caitlin at the moment, but you just saw her 98 car on the inside and it looked like she was either heading to pit road or gathering it back up from from making contact with the outside wall I'm not quite sure but she is now one lap down scored in the 11th position Ryan in the number 19 car is in 10th and I believe he is the next car to go one lap down up front you got Brian in the number three car leading the race Ken in the number 42 trying to run him down he's right behind him and applying pressure Ricky in the number 51 car driving for Tyler's team Dusty Motorsports in the number 51 car having a real strong day despite having damage after that wall glitch incident early in the race he's he's really surging towards the front 
and we just saw Titan in the number 35 car make contact with the outside wall coming out of turn 4. He's scored in the 5th position and having a good run, but he doesn't want to do that too many times. <laughs> and not to mention Dover and Bristol and New Hampshire, some of those shorter tracks with the narrow walls as you exit the turns are famous on the NASCAR 14 and 15 video games for the for the phenomenon we like to call the wall glitch, which means just slight minor contact with the outside wall while you're on the wheel a little bit, and then you just simply get shot to the left, and before you know it, you're either making contact with the inside wall, or if there isn't one, you're, you're way out in the grass, so you may as well get out the golf clubs. There you see, we're about 27 minutes through the race. A lot of time left. Playoff race number four here in season one of the NASCAR B Cup series, hosted on the NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. For more information uh, about the results, the schedules, the standings, the drivers' lists, or how to sign up as a driver, Go to www.noscar.com, N-O-S-S-C-A-R.com. Full instructions are on the home page towards the bottom. Oh, and we just saw Titan again making contact with the outside wall, and we also saw that Ken in the number 42 car is on the inside of Brian, and that's a battle for the race lead. And it, I think Brian might have pinched him down, and now look at this, we got a five-car battle for the race lead. That allowed Ricky and Tyler and Titan to all close in on these two. Oh, this is good stuff at Dover Speedway. This is great stuff. Brian's trying to run from these hungry hounds that are on his tail here. Ken is looking for his fourth career win in the B Cup Series, fourth this season, because this is the inaugural season for the B Cup Series. Brian in the number three is looking for his first career win. Ricky in the number 51 is looking for his first career win. Tyler in the 24 is looking for his eighth career win. He leads all drivers for most wins. And Titan in the 35 just got around him and made it look easy. And now he's up there in fourth, and he's looking for his first win. Joe in the number 15 and 6, he's looking for his first win, but he's got a lot of ground to make up on these front five. Joe will be driving for JT Motorsports next season, owned by Johnny. Johnny driving the 88 for Hendrick Motorsports. And it, the rumor has it that Joe will be driving the number 7 car. And Michael will continue to drive the number 25 car for JT Motorsports. And JT is still trying to find somebody to drive the number 47 car, though I feel like it will not be too hard. Johnny is a master at setting up these race cars, and I'm sure that if he offers to set up their race cars for them, if, he, if they drive for him, I'm sure there will be an agreement reached. How that works, guys, is if you win a championship in either the NASCAR X2 series or the NASCAR B Cup series here on NASCAR 15 on the PlayStation 3 console. You are then eligible to have a three car team. Up to three cars can be on your team and you cannot select cars that are driving for powerhouse teams to be on your team. They have to be underfunded cars. For example, Richard Childress Racing, Joe Gibbs Racing, Hendrick Motorsports, Furniture Row, Chip Ganassi, those cars are not eligible to be chosen for your team. Same thing with the Jack Roush Racing Fords. So for Dusty Motorsports, for Tyler's team, he chose the number 13, the number 51, and the number 98. Johnny, for JT Motorsports, selected the number 7, the number 25, and the number 47. Ethan is the Season 3 NASCAR X2 Series champion, and he elected to not start his own race team and remain on the Team Penske and drive the number 22 car. However, since then, he has not been coming back to the races. Therefore, the number 22 car is going to be driven by Russell next season, full-time. 
And the number two car will be driven by Kenny. Kenny A. Because there are two Kennys. In fact, there are. There's one Ken and two Kennys. <laughs> but Kenny A. will join him over at Team Penske and drive the number two car. There are two cars still available at Joe Gibbs Racing, the number 19 and the number 20, now that Kenny A. is leaving the number 20. Caleb has signed with the 95 car. Marcus has signed for the 18 car. Titan is moving to the 48. Ricky is signed to the 51. Angel has signed to the 17. Ben is returning to NASCAR and he has signed with the number 46 car. Sniper has signed with the 66 car. Kenny W has signed with the number 27. One Eye Brad is signed with the number one car. James has signed for the number four next season. Dexter has re signed with the number 11. I believe that's all the changes that I can think of. Oh, yes, and Steve has signed with the number 21 car, number 21. And Billy has re signed with the number 43. And we're still awaiting Punisher Drummer from the number 38 car. We do have a feeling he will want to uh, select a different car, but we are not certain. So at this point, the number 19 car, the number 35 car, the number 20 car, the number 15 car, the number 55 car, the number 23 car, the number 26, the number 32, the number 34 are all available for next season. However, we have so many drivers, guys, that we estimate about eight or nine drivers not having a ride for the start of next season, so make sure you make your selection very soon. And back to the race, we've got green flag pit stops beginning. And this is what Tyler can see. As you can see, Caitlin has gotten around Ryan for position, both cars one lap down. Oh! Oh, and you guys just got a first-person view of what a wall glitch looks like. Can't believe I changed the camera view just for that. And the 24 car goes around, and we are going to see a caution from this. Wow. That, see, that's how quick it happens, too. You just make a little bit of contact, and then it literally throws your car completely out of shape, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of like hitting some black ice on the highway. But the caution is out. And therefore the 24 is going to go back around and catch the tail of the field. And Ken is going to do so as well because this caution came out at a very strange time in the middle of a green flag pit cycle. And now after this pit cycle, I I believe we're only going to have five or six cars on the lead lap. Tyler's going to have to start at the back of the field. As you can see, the pit stops just finished up. And they have not gone back green yet. We are still getting the field bunched up and together. Just trying to work out the scoring and get everything sorted. I believe that we are now down to 10 cars in the race, guys. We're getting a report that the number 78 machine, due to a wreck, is now out of today's race at Dover Speedway. So we are indeed down to 10 cars left on the track. As you can see, Michael in the number 25 car is now going around the track to get his lap back. When the caution comes out in the middle of a green flag pit stop cycle, it really jumbles up the the running order and it's really difficult to figure out who was where at the time of the caution and what's supposed to happen here. 
And now, as you can see, Caitlyn is getting one of her laps back. And I believe she is now only one lap down. In fact, I think that Caitlyn was yet to make a pit stop, so this, this caution might have helped Caitlyn. I'm, she might be back on the lead lap. We've only had two female drivers participate in at least one race so far in either of the two B divisions in in NASCAR, and um, and by far it's been it's been Caitlin in that number 98 car that's been the top performing female, a lot of top 10 and top 5 finishes. Very solid consistency. She made the playoffs. She enters this race in ninth in the standings, 39 points behind the points leader. I believe we're getting closer to ready. Yeah, here we go. We're getting the cars all rolled up, or fired up and rolling. And I... And Caitlin's having some connection problems because she did not get going, so now there are there is a bit of confusion and now we are waiting for the ninety-eight car to join the tail of the field. And there she is, and now we're gonna get her on rolling here. And I believe because of the uh, the strange circumstances of when the caution fell. As you can see, Titan in the number 35 car is now the race leader. And the green flag is back in the air at Dover Speedway. Titan's got the lead, Brian's in second, Dustin's in third, Ken's in fourth. I believe that Ryan in the number 19 car is one lap down. I believe at this time that there are six cars on the lead lap. But I'm really not quite sure. Well, I do know that there are 10 cars left in the race. Brian's got the lead, he got around Titan, and as you saw there, Dustin got a little bit out of control, he's running in third, Ken's got fourth, but he's getting challenged now by Tyler for that position, and as you can see, Joe has just gotten around some of those other lapped cars. Now if I'm not mistaken, I think Joe is the final car on the lead lap in the sixth position, though I am not, not too sure. And if that is correct, it would be Ricky in the number 51 car in the, the free pass spot if a caution were to come out. Michael in the number 25 car is behind him. We're going to take a short break from commentary, guys. You're watching the fourth playoff race, playoff race number four of five, here in season one of the NASCAR B Cup Series. We're getting closer and closer to crowning a champion. Visit www.noscar.com, N-O-S-S-C-A-R.com, or go to www.facebook.com slash NASCAR Series in order to learn more about the schedules, the race results, the standings, and how to sign up and become a driver yourself. Thanks for joining us, guys, and we're going to take a quick break from commentary. We'll be back. Enjoy it.
Uh, okay, we are going to come back a little bit sooner than expected, guys. We are under caution. I'm not sure if you guys could see it there, but there was a car that did one of those wall glitches, and we did pass the five-lap mark. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but I I do know that it that it was a very vicious one. It was one of those hard contact to the inside wall type of wall glitches. So we are under caution, I believe, for the fifth time here at Dover Speedway. Brian is your race leader, Titan in second, Ken in third, Dustin in fourth, Tyler in fifth, Joe in sixth, Michael in seventh. Ryan in 8th, and we're going to speed things up to get you to the pit stops, and we're going to figure out who the free pass car is. And I believe it is Ryan in the number 19 car, Twitch Whiskers in the number 98, Caitlin, I believe she is choosing to stay out. Either that or she's having connection problems again and she actually did make a pit stop, I'm really not quite sure. And we're going to try to figure out the running order here for you. I believe we're going this time. Green flag is back in the air. Twitch Whiskers did get her lap back. There has been connection problems. Her car truly did go around the track there. And she is now back on the lead lap and I believe that all 10 cars are now on the lead lap here at Dover Speedway. Brian is your race leader in the number three. Destin is in second. It's a fierce battle for second right now. Ken is in third in the number 42 right behind him. That's Titan in the 35 and now Michael is trying to look to the inside of Tyler. Oh, he slid up the hill a little bit there. Oh, and contact between Ken and, and Dustin. And now contact between the 25 of Michael and the 42 of Ken. But remember, we have not hit the five lap mark, so there's no caution yet. No cautions can, can be called at this point. Oh, man. That was crazy. And now, whoa, and now contact. Michael gets into the back bumper of Ricky. Ricky went up the hill, saved it. And Dustin's going to get back, back by the number 51 machine. Brian's got the lead in the number three, and he has really checked out on the rest of these guys while they were all close to wrecking each other here. Titan in second in the number 35 machine. He's having a great run. Tyler in third in the 24, Joe in fourth in the 15, and Ricky, I believe, is the fifth place car in the number 51. I think he has got back around Dustin in the number 14. Whoa, and as you can see, Joe really threw the car in deep and tried to get alongside Tyler that, that time by. And as you can see, well, I don't know if you guys can see it as, as well as I can or not, but but Dustin has now lost the position to Michael as well. Michael in the 25 car has gotten around Dustin in the number 14. And we're watching the battle here for third place between Tyler and Joe. And we're watching Ricky in the number 51 car slowly gain on them. Oh, and just in front of them, you guys saw Titan hit the wall and it was almost a wall glitch. It looks like he saved it and he's able to continue. Therefore we stay green. Much to the excitement and pleasure of, uh, of, of Brian in the number three car, I'm sure. He is the race leader and he's got a very healthy uh, lead over second place Titan. 
and Timax scraped the wall coming into turn two that last time by. I think Joe's making Tyler use all of that race car and all of that race track, trying to force Tyler to make a mistake. As you can see, they both made a mistake coming into turn four that last time by. They both got a little bit squirrely, a little bit loose, had to chase it down the racetrack and gather it back up. And Ricky has really closed these guys, uh, closed the gap down on these guys. It's going to be a three-car battle for third, fourth, and fifth very soon. And it kind of looks like all three of them are beginning to catch the number 35 car of Titan as well. getting word that there is another caution on the track here. Oh, and it was a, an official one. So the game had to have glitched. And we're getting word that somebody had flipped their race car and it was stuck upside down and the red flag was called. The red flag gets called automatically on NASCAR 15, even if you have all flags off, if a car is stuck and cannot continue moving unless they are out of fuel, in which they get a DNF and they are sent back to the lobby. But here we are with the restart. Oh, and Tyler went flying down to the bottom to try to hold the line, and Michael got real loose in the 25, and as you can see, Ryan went right through him. That means that the 25 hit the start button, and therefore he was in ghost mode, transparent, and you're then able to go through his car. He did that on purpose to make sure he did not cause Mike um, Ryan to have severe front end damage. Titan's got the race lead right now, guys, and he's trying to run away from Brian, but it might be easier said than done because Brian has probably been the fastest car all race long today here at Dover Speedway. Him and Ken. Ken in the 42 car, though, he finds himself mired back in fifth right now. And on the radio a moment ago, we captured this audio from Ken, and this was audio from Ken to Brian about five laps ago. And I quote, Brian, make sure you come off pit road up there still, because if you get back here in fourth or fifth, you'll never make it. I'm stuck. End quote. So, by the sounds of that, Ken is struggling to, to pass some of these other cars that he's faster than, but he's, but he's not worlds faster than, so he's having a tough time getting around them and getting back up towards the front. He just made contact there with, with Tyler a little bit, and around, around him he goes. Tyler saves it and keeps on going. Ken up to fourth now. But yeah, that audio tells me that, um, that that Ken thinks the track position is going to be key at the end of this race. So now you can see Brian thinks so too. He's all over the back bumper of Titan, and that's a battle for the race lead. See if we can get a better look at it. There's the four cars that are in front of Tyler. And Brian's alongside him now as they exit turn four. It's really hard to stay side by side for long periods of time at Dover Speedway because you both lose so much speed when you're unable to use every inch of the racing surface. And now, as you can see, man, uh, Titan in the number 35 car went up the hill close to the wall, and that allowed Brian to get around him. And oh, problems now! Titan just got into the back bumper of Ricky, and the caution is out. He got into the back bumper of Ricky, and Ricky in the 51 car went up towards the outside wall, made contact, and we are under caution now for, I believe, the eighth time, or ninth time, rather. No, I believe eighth is right, the eighth caution here at Dover Speedway. Now, as you can see, they are coming down pit road. Every single car 
there's not too many cars left on in the race at this point, so everybody may as well come down pit road every single caution. They're really not going to lose that much ground, and if you end up going for a long green flag run, you're really going to wish you had that extra fuel. We're getting a report that Ryan in the number 19 car is now out of the race. He is going to finish in the 10th position, but we are getting told that, that Ryan in the number 19 car, that orange number 19, is now out of today's race at Dover Speedway and therefore will finish in the 10th position. Tough break for Ryan. He is a playoff driver. Very talented driver here in both B divisions in the NASCAR series. Nine cars left on the racetrack. Tyler has the lead, I believe, for the first time all race long. Brian is second for the restart, and the green flag is back out at Dover Speedway. Titan in third, Ken in fourth, Dustin in fifth, Joe in sixth, Michael in seventh, Ricky in eighth, and Caitlin in ninth. All nine cars are on the lead lap. And Brian just got real loose getting out of turn two that last time by. And that's allowed Ken to get on the inside of him. And while this is happening, Tyler's doing his best to run away. Remember, he's the points leader. And this is a valuable bonus point for leading a lap here in today's race. And it looked like Michael just got into the back bumper of Joe, and they both went up the racetrack towards the outside wall. Ricky was able to get around Joe. And now Ricky's on the in Oh, and problems up there towards the lead. Ken battling for the lead with, with Tyler gets into the back bumper of him. And now Brian gets into the back bumper of Tyler. Tyler goes down the track and hits Titan real hard. And both cars spin and hit the inside wall. Tyler gets it going again. He's real loose exiting two right there. He's going to hit the wall again. And Titan there. Is, as you can see in the picture, is much further behind. And this is going to hinder both of their chances. Remember, we're, we were before the five-lap mark after a restart. Therefore, we're not going to see a caution from this. And so they're going to have to keep digging and hope that they don't go one lap down. Caitlin now runs in the seventh position. There you see her number 98 car just in front of Tyler. She was able to miss all of that. And now look at the front end damage to that 24 machine. It has been a very interesting day for the points leader. Kind of contact with the wall there. This is a battle for seventh that you're watching. And Tyler's going to get around Caitlin. Caitlin looked like she had some very severe front end damage, actually. Might not be worse than Tyler's, but you never know. A lot of cars have a lot of dents and dings here at Dover Speedway from today's race. And now we're at a point where seventh, eighth, and ninth, Tyler, Caitlin, and Titan are very far behind the race leader, possibly in trouble of going one lap down if they don't if they don't pick the pace up here. We know that Ken in the number 42 car is your race leader. Brian in the number 3 car is in second. Getting a report that Ricky in the 51 is in third, Dustin in the 14 is in fourth. Michael in the 25 is in fifth, Joe in the 15 is in sixth. And then Tyler in seventh, Caitlin in eighth, and Titan in ninth. Those are the nine cars left on the racetrack. Twenty drivers in total are going to get points for today's race at Dover Speedway when you throw in the qualification race. 
the drivers who do not advance to the feature race from the qualification race still get, still receive a small amount of points towards the championship standings. And in total from today's race, 20 drivers will be awarded points. 16 drivers were expected to be in the feature race, but again, like I said earlier, 14 drivers were only able to participate. Two drivers had severe connection problems and were unable to participate in today's event. And a couple drivers in the race have had connection problems since then, and a couple drivers have had wreck problems since then. And we just saw Titan in the number 35 car. Bad wall glitch over on the front straightaway, and we are under caution. He was able to get around Caitlin. But I believe Caitlin's able to get that spot back now. And we're working caution number nine here in today's race at Dover Speedway. And that's that's Titan right there and the 35 getting her going again. He it happened coming out of turn four, and he went down and made contact with, with the inside wall hard. And now these guys are gonna catch up to the race leader. And Pit Road's gonna open. Now, at the time of caution, Titan is able to go back around and be back on the lead lap. However, he will have to start at the tail of the field for the restart. The robe is closed this time by, and it's going to open up this time by. As you can see, Titan has rejoined the tail of the field. And now, as you can see, everybody is coming down pit road. Ken leads the way, Brian in second, Michael has worked his way up to third, Ricky fourth, Dustin fifth, Joe in sixth, Tyler seventh, Caitlin in eighth, and Titan in ninth, and they're all on pit road. We're getting closer to the end of the race here, guys. A little over 30 minutes left in the event. Beautiful pace car I'd like to add, and I believe it looks like a Mustang from here. And it's going to be Ken in the number 42 car getting off pit road first. And it looks like... Looks like Brian's going to get second, it looks like Tyler's going to get third, looks like Dustin's going to get fourth. Joe fifth, Michael in sixth. I think Caitlin might have even taken seventh out of the deal. And we're going to come around and line them up double file and get this thing going again. The two strongest cars all race long have been Ken and Brian. 42 in the three car, so keep your eye on those two. The green flag is back in the air here at Dover Speedway. Playoff race number four of five here in season one of the NASCAR B Cup Series. And Tyler had to lift there, getting out of turn two. Dustin and Joe and, oh, contact with Michael. They're all going to get around the 24 on the restart. Oh, maybe not the 25. Ken's got the lead in the 42. Brian in second in the three. Dustin jumps out with a nice restart in the 14 and takes third. Joe in the 15 is in fourth. Tyler in the 24 is in fifth. Michael in, in sixth in that 25 car. Ricky in seventh in the 51 car. Titan in 8th, trying to recover from his glitch spin a moment ago in 8th and 35. And Caitlin with that really severe front end damage is lacking the horsepower down the straightaways. She is in ninth place. However, she salvages a top 10 finish out of today. Other drivers having very severe problems. Now Michael dive bombs down to the bottom to try to get the run he needs, but it won't stick. And now he wasn't able to... Get, get back to the gas as soon as Ricky was able to, and now as you can see, Ricky is on the inside of Michael, and that's a battle for sixth. Kind of looks like the damage is really holding up Ty Tyler in the 24 as well. He just bumped the wall, and that allowed Ricky and Titan to both get around him. Oh, Titan made contact with the wall there. Ricky hit him, and these four cars are not giving up. But while these four cars are battling like this, the, t the top three are running away. Or the 
top four, rather. We're watching the battle for fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And in the number 42 has checked out. He's got about a one second lead over Brian in the number three car. As you see, Titan in the 35, he's not giving up on that outside line. As you can see, Ricky has lost these two a little bit. He has fallen back. And there's Michael in the 25. He has gotten around these guys. So Michael in the 25 car sits in fifth. Tyler in the 24 is in sixth. And as you can see, Titan is still right on, on the back bumper here looking for that position. Titan in seventh. We're going to take a break from commentary for a little bit, guys. You're watching playoff race number four of five here in season one of the NASCAR B Cup series. Go to www.nascar.com for more information on how to sign up as a driver or to check out the schedules, the race results, the standings, and the driver's list. That's N-O-S-S-C-A-R.com. We'll come back to commentary very shortly.
just going to chime in one thing, guys. As you can see, Tyler just got around Ricky, and I believe that that was for the fifth position. So that means Michael has also gotten around Ricky, and Michael in the 25 car is now up into fourth. And I believe it is Joe running in third. Ken is your leader, Brian is in second, Joe is in third, Michael in fourth, Tyler in fifth, Ricky in sixth, Titan in seventh. Actually, my mistake, guys. Ken in the number 42 is your race leader. Brian in the number 3 is in second. Dustin in the number 14 is in third. Joe in the number 15 is in fourth. Michael in the number 25 is in fifth. Tyler in the number 24 is in sixth. Ricky in the number 51 is in seventh. Titan in the number 35 is in eighth. Caitlin in the number 98 is in ninth. And now we are under caution, guys, here at Dover Speedway. We didn't see what happened, but we're assuming a, a wall glitch as because most of the cars were very, very spread out at this point. So we don't know if an incident would have occurred or, or not. But let's, uh, let's fast forward now, guys, to the pit stops. nine cars left on the track and I believe that it was Ricky in the number 51 car that had the issue because we do not see him in line here and now the cars are on pit road everyone except for the 51 car there's the 51 coming onto pit road now Ken is gonna escape with the lead Brian in second Joe in third Tyler fourth Dustin in fifth Michael in sixth it looks like Dustin dropped to the back there, and I'm not really sure why. And I believe we're coming to the restart this time by, but I'm not quite certain. Maybe not, actually, because I think that the 14 car of Dustin is not in line. Yeah, therefore, we're not going back to green this time by. We're going to do one more pace lap, and then we're going to get the party started. Now all nine cars are in position and ready to go, and Green Flag is back out here at Dover Speedway. With about 14 minutes left in the race. That's about 28 laps here at Dover Speedway. or less. Ken is your race leader in the 42. Brian is in third in the number, or in second in the number three. Tyler is in third in the number 24. Joe is in fourth in the 15. He's trying to hold off Michael. Michael just passed him for fourth in that 25 car. Michael's car, the number 25, has been getting better and better as the race has progressed. Joe is now in 5th in the 15 car, Dustin is in 6th in the 14 car, Ricky is in 7th in the 51, Titan is in 8th in the 35 car, and Caitlin is in 9th in, in the 98 car, and she is now back on the lead lap, she was the free pass car this, on this past caution. She's struggling with that front end damage, she's unable to get the horsepower down the straightaway, and we just saw Brian hit the wall trying to Trying to keep pace with Ken there, and Tyler's going to get around him for second. It looks like Michael in the 25 car is going to take third. Joe just held off Dustin to maintain his fifth place position, and now it looks like Dustin got into the wall coming out of turn two. Ricky was unable to, to, uh, to capitalize. Ken in the 42 car has been the fastest car 
for most of this race. I would say that him and Brian in the number three have been the quickest two cars all race long. I think Brian's car was the quickest in the first 100 laps. I think now in, in this past 70 laps or so, I think Ken's number 42 car has really come to life. And now I think we're also seeing the number 25 car, driven by Michael, come to life as well. And that's a good look at Brian getting to the inside of Tyler. That's a battle for second. Textbook pass for second. It's a five-car battle for second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, as you can see. Michael is trying to get around Tyler now. That is for third, if he can do it. Joe is running in fourth, or fifth rather, in the 15 car right behind these guys. And Dustin is in, is in sixth in the number 14. And this is a good camera view for this particular situation. Four car battle for position. As you can see behind them, I don't know if you can or not actually, but Titan has gotten around Ricky, and that's for seventh. So put, put Ricky back in eighth now. Suddenly the handling has gone away on that number 51 car. He was up in the top five for much of the day. And now, just in the last 20 laps or so, I would say that Ricky's car has went from top five material maybe back to about eighth or, or ninth place material here. I am impressed that Tyler has been able to stay up front with all of that front end damage, but right as I say that, as you can see, Michael in the number 25 car was able to get around him, and now Joe is going to try his luck on the bottom. So Michael gets around him for third. Joe is behind Tyler now, trying to take fourth. And then that's Dustin in the number 14 car, behind them both. We're getting down to the final laps here, guys. Does anyone have anything for Ken, becomes the big question. Brian is in second, but he's got about a two, two and a half second gap to make up on that 42 car. He's now cleared the 25 machine and the 24 machine, and he's got himself some nice breathing room, no pressure from behind. The question is, can Brian get up there and challenge him and perhaps get his first career win here in the NASCAR B Cup Series? Brian has won a race before in the NASCAR X2 Series, and he would love to do so here in the B Cup Series, have a win in both. And the handling has went away even further for the 98 car driven by Caitlin. She just went back one lap down to the race leader, Ken. She's now the second car in line and the only car one lap down. Therefore, if another caution comes out, she would be getting the free pass. And Dustin with a big run there through three and four. He gets around Joe. He made a little bit of contact with Tyler. And now he's going to try to see if he can hold his, hold his line and he's able to do it. He's going to take the spot. In fact, it looks like Joe's going to, oh, maybe not. Joe's going to tuck in behind Tyler for the time being. Looks like Caitlin is either coming to pit road or just simply moving out of the way for these guys, and I think she's just pulling over to let him go. Ooh, Joe went up and scraped the wall there very badly in turn one. And he's, he's lost a lot of ground now to the 24. 24 car driven by Tyler is now back in fifth place. Destin is up to fourth. And now there's a battle for third brewing between Michael and Destin, and that is for third and fourth. And it doesn't look like Brian's making up any ground on Ken, but he's definitely getting away from these guys running in third and fourth. Titan runs in 7th in that 35 car. Ricky runs in 8th in the number 51. And the question is, can these guys make it to the end without pitting again on fuel? Or are these guys going to have to stop and do a quick splash and go before the end of the race?
As you can see there, guys, below, there's only about seven minutes left in the race. Therefore, that is about 13 or 14 laps left in the race here at Dover Speedway, perhaps less. Ken is closing in on his fourth career win here in the NASCAR B Cup Series. Ken came into this race sixth in the standings, 29 points behind the race, uh, the points leader Tyler, and this is going to be valuable momentum and valuable ground gained heading into Homestead. In the number 14 car, Dustin, he came into this race tied for second in the standings with Johnny, only 11 points behind Tyler for the points lead, and the 14 car runs in front of Tyler for the time being. Dustin runs in third, Tyler runs in fifth, so this will be valuable points for Dustin heading into Homestead as well. That's a good look at Joe trying to close in on, on Tyler for that fifth position. And like I said, the question becomes, can these guys make it to the end on fuel? We know that they're going to be close. And if you think you're going to be close, the question becomes, when do you start saving? Do you push hard and try to force everyone else to push hard to run out? How confident are you that you're going to make it to the end? What do you do here? Do you, do you immediately start conserving and possibly get past? Or do you push hard and hope you make it to the end? We do know that uh, Caitlin in the 98 and Ricky in the 51, they're probably going to have the best fuel mileage out of all these guys because they have some severe front end damage and therefore they're not able to, to reach maximum power and torque like these other guys and therefore I, I guarantee you they have a couple of extra laps conserved in the tank. However, are they close enough to capitalize if some of these drivers run out of fuel? becomes the big question. And we've noticed that the pace of some of these drivers has started to drop considerably. We know that Joe is conserving fuel. We know that Dustin is conserving fuel. We know that Tyler just started conserving fuel probably about a lap or two laps ago. So a lot of these guys are becoming concerned towards the end of the race here if they're going to make it to the end or not. Now if Ken runs out of fuel, Brian is definitely close enough to get around him and take the win and get his first win in the B Cup Series. But does Brian have enough fuel to get to the end? Ken's got a comfy lead. He might be able to back it off and slow down and save some gas. Whereas Brian might have the urge to try to get up there and run him down. So the question becomes, who's going who's gonna to make it to the end and who's going to win this race? We know that Ken has a 3.3 second lead over Brian and it's not really shifting any, any longer. It was slowly going getting larger the gap between the two but now it is staying roughly the same does this mean that Ken is saving fuel we know that Tyler running in fifth we know that he is saving fuel Tyler has lost the back bumper completely of Michael he is definitely saving gas and now Joe is starting to reel him in a little bit here it doesn't appear that Michael is conserving very much fuel here in the late going. It looks like he might be alright. 
And if and if he's not all right, then he just simply doesn't care. He's he's going for it, guys. That number twenty-five car. We're gonna try to figure out how many laps are left here by clicking at the timer, and we've got a little bit over two minutes. So this means that there's about four or five laps remaining here in the race at Dover Speedway, perhaps less. We're getting down to it, guys. Ken in the number 42 car is in the lead. Brian in the number 3 car is in second. Dustin in the number 14 is in third. Michael in the number 25 is in fourth. Tyler in the number 24, the points leader coming in, is in fifth. Joe in the 15 is in sixth. Contact with the outside wall coming out of turn four for, for Tyler that last time by. We know that Titan is in seventh in that number 35 car. Ricky in the number 51 car is in eighth. And Caitlin in the number 98 is in ninth. Only nine cars left on the racetrack. 20 drivers are receiving points from this race here at Dover Speedway. This is playoff race number four of five. Coming to a close here real soon. And now is the points leader out of fuel. The 24 car, Tyler, very slow on the racetrack, let Joe go by, and now Titan's going to go by. Tyler has dropped to the 7th position here in under one lap. Does everyone else have enough fuel? And the question is, is, is Tyler out of fuel? He has really backed off the pace, guys. I believe we're on the final lap right now. And I believe Tyler is pretty much out of fuel, perhaps down to the final drops. And Ken in the number 42 car picks up his fourth career win here in the NASCAR B Cup Series. And as you can see there, Tyler just barely edged Ricky at the start finish line. For the seventh position. Wow. That was close, but he got it by a by a bumper. Congratulations to Ken in the number 42 car on his fourth career NASCAR B Cup Series victory. This will certainly help him in the point standings heading into Homestead, the final race. Congratulations to Brian on finishing second, Dustin finishes in third, Michael in fourth, Joe in fifth, Titan in sixth, Tyler in seventh, Ricky in eighth, Caitlin in ninth, Ryan rounding out the top ten, Frank in eleventh, Johnny in twelfth, Jordan in thirteenth, Aaron in fourteenth, James in fifteenth, Billy in sixteenth, Caleb in seventeenth, Sean in eighteenth, One-Eyed Brad in nineteenth, and Timothy in twentieth. Thank you very, very much for joining us, guys. This was playoff race number four of five here at season one of the NASCAR B Cup Series. We'll see you at Homestead. Thanks for watching, guys.